Okay, it says I'm live. And I have pop out chat. Hopefully now I can see what you guys are seeing. You'll see. Hi, Mindy. We'll just wait for a few minutes and see when everybody comes in. Hi, Eileen. Already a thumbs up. Whoever did that, thank you. Hi, Kat. <sighs> I'm already tired and I haven't done anything. <laughs> hey, Joycey. Hi, Colleen. You lurk away, girl. Hi, Riri. Hi, Gail. Patricia. Kimberly. Hi, G Brody. You doing laundry? I'm going to have to do that soon. Yep. Something I got to do. And I just got a wee little haul to show you guys. Can't type and talk. <laughs> I get that, Colleen. <laughs> Hi, Diana. Dee Dee had some cool stuff this morning. But I didn't do anything near as fun as Dee Dee did this weekend. Well, I had fun this weekend, so I can't really say that. It's all relative, right? Hi, Joan. Hi, Scooby. All right, we're getting some people here now. That's what I'm talking about. All right, I'll just jump right into the hall, I guess. You put new carpet in the basement and shoveled snow. Well, that does not sound like a fun weekend, Scooby. <laughs> Sorry. Hi, Linda. We went and um, Robert's birthday was Friday. Hi, Picola. Um, so we had started celebrating Thursday when we went to Joplin. And then Saturday we drove into Tulsa. His daughter was in town again. So we drove into Tulsa and had um, lunch that we sat in the restaurant until it could have turned into dinner. We sat there so long. And um, his son drove up from Oklahoma City. So we had a fun weekend. And then we all went over and saw their son when we were done eating. So it was really fun. Didn't go shopping, didn't do anything. Drove into Tulsa, ate, sat around, chatted, and drove home. That was it. Not that I needed anything. I'd just been shopping Thursday, right? And I didn't find a whole lot. Tuesday morning had literally nothing. I walked out with some orange sticks. That was it. But this craft department, ugh, it was just caca this week. And it's weird how you go into Tuesday morning and some weeks they have tons of stuff and then you go in the next time and there's like nothing, nothing that you would take home. Hi, Molly. But I did go into Hobby Lobby and um, I didn't go there with really anything in mind. I was going to look for little ceramic um, dishes to put in the bottom of my um wooden box palette that I'm going to make for my watercolors. Um, and I didn't find anything. I just, there was nothing there that just really grabbed me, but I found they had all their Strathmore and Canson, I believe 
um, journals on sale, 40% off. So um, I have other Strathmore paper, but I had never tried one of these visual journals. So I got one of these. And then oddly enough, Dee Dee and I were talking later and she said, well, you need to try the Strathmore visual journal. And it was like, whoa, I just bought one. <laughs> hey, Lena. So um, I'll show you. How, I, I did use one sheet out of it. Not sure that I'm crazy about it, but I think I've been really, really spoiled with arches. Um, yeah. So I don't think it's horrible, but I'll show you here in a minute. So that was, you know, like 40% off. And then I got this on sale, normally $17 on sale for $4.23. I love this book and I've picked it up. I can't even tell you how many times. Let me shut this off and see if that doesn't help that. Oh, it helps the glare a lot. Um, look at that elephant. But I picked this book up a ton of times. We'll look through the artist gallery anyway because it's got good stuff. Look at that glass. And this is um, graphite and charcoal. I don't do art and charcoal because it makes your hands so messy. Um, hi, Vaughn. Um, hi, Holly. The 101, oh, you have this texture book, Vaughn? Well, of course you do. You're like Eileen. You have everything. But I can't say much because I have an awful lot too. So, but it, it goes through a lot of just everyday things that you might want to draw in either graphite or charcoal. Um, I might do the charcoal ones with um, chalk pencil. I might do that because it's not as messy as charcoal. Charcoal is just messy to me. So you get seashells, running water, mountain rock. They're really, really good. Grass, gra um, smooth rock, moss, fern. Some of them I really, really want to try. Palm frond, thatched roof. Pine needles, pine cone. The pine cone will be fun. Rough bark and charcoal, rough bark and graphite. Peanut, walnut, tomato, broccoli. The broccoli's cool. You love this book? Yeah, I do too. And it was only like four bucks. So um, just for doodling and playing, I think it's great. Corn, pineapple, strawberry, coconut. A lot of this stuff I've drawn. Grapes and cherries and apples and pears. Citrus fruit, rind, and then cut citrus fruit. A glass of wine. I'd rather, yeah. Wrought iron in graphite and charcoal. That one looks fun too. A wooden barrel. They all, Some of them look really fun. So I will definitely be, this will be my book by the couch for a while while I just play. Bricks. Books. Hi, Dee Dee. <laughs> I know. Oh, you have it on Kindle? Yeah, it's hard. You know, I would rather have the book and hold it and touch it and smell it. And yeah, rusted steel. That looks way cool. Clay pottery, hammered metal, porcelain, beveled glass. So I don't know if, um, you know, if you're near a Hobby Lobby, if your Hobby Lobby will have it still. But I thought four bucks was a pretty good deal. I like that cork. A basket, that one will be good. Twine. This knitting, I am definitely doing the knitting. I am going to do knitting. If it kills me, I'm going to do that. You sure wish you, oh, you have to went pencils that you've lost. Ooh, I'm sure they're in a safe place because I do that a lot. But I did find my papers from Z <laughs> that I had lost last week. The leather looks cool. Lace, denim. I like denim and colored pencil. Here's chunky wool. I'll start with that one. I'll do the chunky wool first. Fabric and textiles. And then this is, I think, all animals up front. Zebra, feather, leopard, elephant skin, snake skin, horse, horse coat, long cat fur short cat fur cat eye the cat eye i'm definitely doing that one a canine nose K 
canine eye. So there's really good stuff in this book. So I felt like four bucks, bargain, lips, that's a good one. Eyes are a good one. Facial hair. Dee Dee always amazes me with her facial hair. So I may have to do this one just to see if I could even begin to replicate Dee Dee's facial hair. Hi, Elaine. Nose. I don't even think that's very good nose, really, but probably better than I could do. Curly hair, straight hair, wavy hair, smooth skin, aged skin. This would be mine. This is what I look like. Very aged skin. I'm not sure I'm that bad yet, but I'm getting pretty close. Dee Dee, have you ever seen Dee Dee's facial hair? Not her, those facial hair that she has. Okay, now I've really goofed up. Dee Dee does, I don't know if Dee Dee has facial hair. Hell, she may have to shave every day. I don't know. But I mean, the facial hair that Dee Dee is able to create on her artwork is amazing. Yeah. Dee Dee, before I come visit you, would you shave? Because <laughs> I want to have to make fun of you. <laughs> I have a couple of whiskers now bug the hell out of me. So, and then tools and materials, pretty much the same stuff they put in every one. So go to your Hobby Lobby. That one is on sale. And then this one, um, Life Like Heads, it was normally 10 bucks on sale for 250. So, and they didn't have a huge number of books. Um, but this one, yeah, when you find a cool book for 250, you got to buy it, right? This, I think, is amazing. That's amazing. So, gives you the proportions, drawing babies, drawing older people. And I think I started, I think I started reading this one. And she said, draw as often as you can from live subjects. I think this is the one that said that. So... I don't draw faces usually. I have a lot of draw faces books, but I just don't do faces that often. I think I'm still just intimidated, but for two bucks, pretty good book. If I even did a portion of it, I'd still feel like I got my money's worth. Or even if I just look at it and read it. I like these. Just the parts, parts is parts. So it's a pretty small book. Yeah, this is the book because I remember reading about the um, muscles and expressions and yeah, that it's good to know the underlying features to draw a face. So you have to take a course in anatomy first. So that was my other cool purchase. Yeah, I think it was a really, really good deal. And then um, this book I bought, um, this actually already has a home. I didn't necessarily buy it for me. I'm going to look at it before I send it off. I have looked at it a little bit. Um, but this book has a home already, but I'm going to flip through it for you because it's it's so cute. I mean, um, I'll just flip through it quick. It just has some cute, easy drawing. A lot of it's very zentangly, um, but I love that elephant. And it gives you the, the basic sketch so that you can draw on top of it if you want. Maybe I should pull out a little bit with this bigger book. <clears throat> but I thought, thought of Colleen when I saw that, actually. And here's the sugar skull head. Um, Hand tattoos, lotus flowers. I like this. I wouldn't mind drawing that. I think that's really cool. Complex mandala, hot air balloons, fancy flowers. I probably actually will take a photocopy of that page just to keep it for myself. Drawing different kinds of suns, a wall of flowers, seven wishes. Look at that elephant. I just thought this was such a happy book. So, um, and it made me think of one particular person. So it was like, yep, I'm going to buy that and mail it off. Making faces. 
complex objects, wise owls, doing t-shirts and stuff, just making it your own. Yeah, I like this book too. Um, there's a part of me that would want to keep it. And then I thought, no, you bought it to send off. Now you need to send it off. I love these little aviary um, drawings. And honestly, you guys, any one of you can do any one of these. Really, any one of you. And it gives you space in the book to work. I generally don't work in a book. Um, but who knows? Maybe some people would. Measuring without a ruler. That's what Eileen needs because she is ruler phobic. She just hates rulers. I love rulers. And I saw Colleen doing like intricate measurements with her Colleen ruler. Look at that page. Isn't that just a happy page? From flow comes joy. I just thought, oh, so happy stuff. Little bunny up there. Look at all those. They're so cute. The turtle. Ah, oh, he's adorable. It is. It's so happy art. And absolutely nothing here, any one of us. If you can write your name, you can do anything in this book. I promise you. I love this page, the butterfly and bug page. Ugh, I love that page. Seashells. Seashells make me think of mother. My mother was a seashell hoarder. I'm knock that off if I'm not careful. Feathers. That reminds me of Colleen, too. Picture frames, simple flowers, leaves. Look at, there's another really happy page. You need this book? <laughs> I wish there had been two. Um, go look at your Hobby Lobby. I know, Colleen's putting on her jacket, grabbing her purse. She's out the door already. And just making up your own patterns. Playing with flowers and color, just drawing basic stuff. It's a good book, it really is. And it was normally 22, like 23 bucks, and I got it for six. So that's pretty good. So sometime this week, probably toward the end of the week, this will be going to its new home. I'm not sure what this page was about. Oh, just using the color wheel and harmony which is good for any of us to know if we're going to do our art. Yeah, so it gives some really good basic information and, and just real basic drawing to start from. I did actually already draw that bunny. I drew it in the Beast last night. Colleen never goes shopping, I know. Hi, Shauna. Oh, Elaine, you could draw better than you think. But these, some of these big double page spreads with the graph paper background, they just make me happy. So, yeah. So, yeah, this will be a fun in a new home. Got it. And then it, this is like a little place where you can mark off something to do every day which I thought was a really, really cute idea. Thanks, Scooby. <clears throat> I should be on a spinning hold. Because you know what today is? Today is tax day. Tax day always makes me so happy because I get to contribute large dollar volumes to my government who uses it so wisely in everybody's best interest. So I'm feeling good about myself because those checks got written and they are off in the mail. <laughs> Did that sound really sarcastic? Those writing those checks absolutely freaking kills me. I'm not kidding. Because they get so much taxes from me already. Oh, anyway, Didi, this is the one, the visual journal that you told me to try it. And I, ha I said, hey, I just bought one of those. So um, I don't know if it was this weekend. I didn't really art much this weekend because we were gone all day Saturday. And then yesterday, I was just, I was the biggest slug yesterday. I sat on the couch and watched two movies. 
Um, yeah, I was just a total slug. But I think last Thursday or Friday, whatever day I was talking, I guess it was Friday, Dee Dee, we talked. Um, yeah, I have a way with words, and it's really hard when I'm not using the dirty ones, Holly. It's really hard. Um, but anyway, I was playing with the my watercolors because I'll show you. One day last week, I think it was Thursday, I received a box from Amazon, which I was not expecting because I didn't order anything. So when um, Amazon showed up, I was like, woohoo, yay, surprises in the mail. Um, these came and Melody sent me. That's why she was asking about the M grams. We'd been talking about them for a while because she wanted them too. And, you know, which ones you had, which ones you liked, blah, blah, blah. So, Melody, you're not here. Um, but I did get um, two of the M-Gram sets that Melody sent me. And I can't even begin to express how grateful and thankful I am for you, Melody. And I never, ever want you to send me stuff. I mean, I'm grateful when you do, but I'm just thankful for our friendship and that we chat off, you know, when we're not in chat together. So thank you so much. They're beautiful. Um, of course, they went in my palette. This is what I'm using for a palette right now until I get my wooden box done. I did go ahead and move these up here are all the Daniel Smith and um, Z's paints and some um, duo from Daniel Smith. And then all these down here are the M Gramps. So I put them in immediately so I could play with them. Um, but I'm getting a pretty good collection now and I love them. I absolutely love them. Um, so I've, I've been kind of um, obsessed lately with transparency and um, I just felt like I was going a million different directions with watercolor, you know, like not ever really retaining what I was learning. Um, I like the M-Gram too, Shauna. Hi, CB. Um, and I haven't tried like the Shin Han or um, the nicer Windsor and Newton. You know, there's lots of brands that I haven't tried. But based on what I had tried, I kind of zeroed in on the M-Grams. I like the way they re-wet. Um, they are a little sticky. Hi, Fairy Treasures. Haven't seen you around for a long time. It's good to see you. Um, but anyway, so Thursday or Friday, I just started messing around. And I think you guys were here. I did it on stream one time. I did this in the, um, what is this, the Dina Wakely journal. I did this one. And that's what kind of got me thinking about transparency and how different papers work and um, so I thought, okay, I'm going to pick the cool colors and I'm going to use the only M grams, um, because I'd been looking up their pigments and their transparency and blah, 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 you know, and I thought I would do the same piece of art on three different pieces of paper, but with the same paints. And so this is kind of what I came up with. And the color on the camera is really crappy, but we'll do the best we can. So this one is in fact that Strathmore um, paint that um, your paper that Dee Dee had said, try it. And on one side, it feels like cold press. And on the back side, it feels like hot press. It's more smooth, not as smooth as the um, Fabriano, but it's still smoother than the front. Um, but okay, so that's the Strathmore visual. This was um, Canson with M. Graham. Now, this is just like the cheapest paper ever. But the paints, keep in mind, are the exact same paints. It's just different papers. So look how different they behave. And then this is Arches. And there's just almost no comparison, you guys. I mean, none at all. Look at, um, for example, this green here is the same as this green here. Um, I I don't even know how to describe it. I mean, transparency, they all are much the same. You can see the colors underneath. Um, the M-grams do move a lot. 
Yeah, Fabriano, that's the one that Eileen made me buy. The hot press, and I'm not a fan. Not a fan. It'll be good to draw on and stuff. It does, Shauna. I have to say that, um, you know, for just playing and stuff, these cheaper watercolor papers are probably fine. And I did like the um, Strathmore better than the Canson, but I knew the Canson was just cheap, cheap, cheap paper. So I'll probably use it for swatches or whatever. But I'm going to save up my money. Um, yeah, Eileen says she likes the Fabriano Heart or Hot Press. And I did buy some and I tried it. You detest Fabriano, but it works good for card stamping and taking wet mediums. That's what I thought, Vaughn. Um, what's the book again? What book? What book, Elaine? Anyway, um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I've just been doing with my watercolors is just testing them out. And um, the other thing that I might do just for shits and giggles and... Um, I might do this exact same thing using the Daniel Smith. Yeah, I know, Eileen. <laughs> I know, I know. So, um, and it on camera, it looks so horrible. And you can see where I let it bleed. And, um, but, yeah, so that's what I've been doing with that. None of them came out as good as the one that I did in the Dana Wakely journal, though. Like this one, I really love this one. Of course, it's more colorful. It it really looks like tissue paper glued down to me. So, oh, the visual something, the visual journal. This one. Not horrible. Um, you know, for most of the stuff I'm going to do or play with, this will be... Um, this will be okay. It's just the Strathmore visual journal. And I have another Strathmore one, too, that's not visual journal. So I don't know how they compare. I'd have to get it out and um, and test it. But I tried to be really um, consistent. You know, like if I did something on one, I did it. I tried to do it identically on the other. So I was actually getting a good comparison. Oops. My bad. My bad. Nothing broke. So it's all good. And then the only other happy mail that I need to show is I got it today. And it is so flippin' adorable. I have to show you. Some of you, a lot of you I know, um, get cards from Teresa Peterman. And I got this one today, the Happy Easter with the little bunny on it. How adorable is that? Okay, your Strathmore. See, my other Strathmore isn't a uh, spiral. It's just a pad as well. Isn't that pretty? And it, she's got it lifted up. It's got some dimension to it. Her cards are always just so darn adorable, I swear. And then she always writes a nice long letter telling you what's going on. And this says, keep calm and hug a bunny. I'll just keep calm and hug a rat. How about that? If he's done something hug worthy. And then I hadn't even looked at these, but she sent me some postage stamps and little baby ephemera. So that was so cute. Look at these little chicks. These will be going in the beast for sure. Look at the eggs. So they're so adorable, Teresa. Thank you. And then look at these bunnies. There's some bunny love right there. Look at this one. This is my favorite. This one is my favorite. That looks like Eileen, don't you think? Well, if its eyes were crossed, it would look like Eileen. Oh, that's right. I want to hear from Lena what the builder said. You just got your photo to put on Twitter. It's awesome card, and I love her news. I do too, Vaughn. I do too. I feel so special when I open a um envelope from Teresa, and she's so consistent about doing it every month. And yeah, it's just she's so sweet that way. Look at the baby chick playing in the rain. 
and then a boot with flowers in it. So thank you for all the ephemera and always remembering me, Teresa. I truly, truly appreciate it. And it's fun to get happy mail in with all the other junk that I get that I don't like so much. So I have fun stuff to put in the beast. Hi, Azure. I know, they're so cute, right? <laughs> Eileen, hey, hey. And I just love postage, so I'm glad she stuck that in too. So thanks again. The all special. And then look at the back of the envelope. Scooby-Doo. That reminds me of Scooby. There you go, Scooby. Mm -hmm. All right. So that was all I had to show today, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, happy mail trumps all else. It does. It's just fun to walk back into the house knowing that you got something fun to open. I did. I told you I found my um, Xandra tissues, and I was going to use those today, but then Dee Dee made me think Notre Dame in Paris is on fire. OMG. Um, at Dee Dee's this morning. We were, um, there. she was showing a prompt box that she got, that little, it looked like a match box, and then the prompts inside were on each of the match sticks, which was really, really cute. The box itself was worth having. If you never did one of the prompts, it would still be worth having. So I did, and Elaine, I think, has a set of these. Elaine, or Elaine, didn't I make you a set of them as well? Um. And I don't remember if I used the 100 prompts that we all put together, I think, one day at Jean's. And then Bren, um, Bren put it on her um, blog. So anyway, um, yeah, I made two sets of these cards. I just printed it out on the computer and then cut it up. And um, I actually used the prompts to create the, the background paper that I put them on. And so I'll just go through them real quick. And this is um, kind of specific to, um, it's not necessarily creativity motivation, which is kind of what Dee Dee's is. Um, these are kind of specific to creating mixed media art. Um, so this one is make it monochromatic, trace around something, use pink. That's Eileen's favorite prompt, I'm sure, out of the whole thing. Carve a stamp and use it. Stitch on the edge of the page. Use scraps. And there's six or seven on each card. Use a jelly plate. Attach fiber or ribbons. Tear around and add, or tear paper and add. Include canceled postage. Add something from a magazine. Try an image transfer. So do these sound like the ones that you guys came up with? What did Nina say? Oh, okay. She, Lena's a crazy woman. Use bubble wrap, draw or stamp a face. Um, all the places you've lived, red things, draw rows, splatter ink on a page, collage, make a pocket, use a metallic paint or pen, draw a continuous line, pleat paper and attach, add drippage, use something you haven't used yet, add your favorite quote, add lace, use glitter, Weave strips of magazines together. Use a napkin. Bucket list. Use a stapler. Use a spray ink. Use emboss resist. Use a piece of corrugate. Add pattern paper. Draw design in graduated sizes. Um, use song lyrics. Add any shape. Use string and ink to doodle. Use a repetitive pattern. Use colored pencil, glue down confetti, add an envelope, insert something, use origami, repeat something you've done, add your favorite candy wrapper, add a quote, stamp with a household item, paint with a baby wipe, include a photograph, use ma machine stitching, draw something, use a Zentangle pattern, cut text paper into hearts, journal on this page, words that start with your initial. <clears throat> So 
So does this sound like the ones you guys came up with or did I make these up? Because I can't remember. Use a straw to blow paint, color this entire page, add something you got to love, create or use a postage stamp, use random letters, use homemade pattern paper, use metal embellishments, add leaf shapes to the page, white things, your choice of techniques, draw a page of ladybugs, use a 1970s icon, doodle, use a poem, fill a page with circles, use an envelope, my favorite things, use rubber stamps, paint with a stick, use a transparent item, make, make ink blots, create texture, use a stencil with paint, use watercolor, add beads, stamp on tissue paper, use graphite. Fill a page with four letter words. I'm good at that. I, I excel at that. Draw a page of cherries, use stickers, add texture with a glue gun, Hidden message pull out, use a word, use the word gratitude. Use a stencil, use spray inks, finger paint, add a tag, paste random stuff, add ephemera, use a rubber stamp. So I'm wondering if these aren't original too, that I made them up myself. Why are there so many prompts on one card though? Just because that's the way I did it, Gail. Um, you know, you could turn these over and just pull one because a lot of them I'm never going to do quite frankly. Like if I just flipped to this card and said, repeat something you've done, add your favorite candy wrapper, add a quote, stamp with a household item, paint with a baby. Now, actually any of those I might do except the photograph because that you kind of got to plan ahead. But some of them on the page, I'm probably never going to do. And some of them I might not even have the stuff, you know? Thank you, Dee Dee. So, yeah. Um, just pick a card and do it. So, I thought I would get out the um, the string art book that I used last week. And I'll, I'll show you how that ended up drawing. Um On one of the streams, we did this string art where we dipped it in ink and then um, smushed the book and pulled the string and, and got different designs like that. Um, and then you could draw like like this one reminds me of a bird that I could draw and turn this into a bird and have it on opposing pages. Right. And then this is just Tim Holtz paper that we played with ink. I think this was the FW inks that we um it looks like inks. It doesn't look like magicals. So it probably was ink. And I thought I would put this butterfly on here and probably add a quote or something. But here's the page that we did the other day, which I've not done anything else with. But I love it. I love the way it looks old. And yeah. And I like the pods or the, what do you call them? Rods. The rods. I use the rods that Eileen sent. So, yeah, I thought we could maybe do like a mixed media page in this book. Just pick a page and start slapping stuff on it off the prompt cards. And this is just like magical paper towel that I glued in. So you can just art on top of it. So maybe I'll just do it on this one. Yeah, the way this the page that we did the other day came out. Yeah, I really like it. I, I don't even know that I want to do anything on top of it because I just love it so much. I'll pull out where you can kind of see the whole thing. Starts good. Start slapping. <laughs> All right. We're going to slap some stuff on it then. I'll take this out so I don't smoosh it up. And I just keep these deli sheets in the book. I'm just going to use this one because I know Eileen had slapped me for saying this, but the green one is probably my least favorite. We'll end up covering it up with stuff, but that's cool. All right. Put these away. Keep them clean. All right, let's pick a prompt and see what we got. And I'm going to have to get out the stuff that we're going to use. Leave it alone. It's beautiful. Yeah, that's what I think. 
more slap and less talk, Paula. <laughs> Thanks, um, my fairy treasure. All right. So um, if you guys want to just want me to just randomly pick a card or give me a number and I'll count the card or whatever. But to get us started, I'll just do this. Um, says to stamp with a household item, paint with a baby. Oh, paint with a baby wipe would be a great way to start this page. Include a photograph. So when I do it, I just pick one off that page. And then I try not to um, repeat the prompts. So this one we're going to paint with a baby wipe. That's a good one. Paint with a baby wipe to get us started. And I'll paint with, I think, acrylic paint. But I could also do Neo 2s. The Neo 2s are going to be more transparent. Okay, Eileen is going to love me today because this is going to be messy because I'm going to have to get a ton of stuff out. All right, and as part of this, Eileen, I'll do um, a blind six too or a blind whatever. I'll just um, close my eyes and reach in and get the color. So, and what I'm reaching into is a tub of <laughs> acrylic paints. <laughs> so when you hear the noise, that's what I'm reaching into, the tub of acrylics. Tub, oh, oh, we can't use red, can we? We have to. That's what I picked. Oh, my God. I can't believe I picked that. I'm going to get the white out, too, though. That's black. Okay, and when you do pick six, you can use black and white. So I'm going to leave the black and the white out. You store things like I do. Yeah, look at this. Is that, how else are you going to do it? It's ridiculous. We'll leave the gold out too, just in case. I like the Bria Reese gold. We'll use those. We'll leave those out because I get to use those regardless. Christmas mouse. Yeah, no lie. I'm not sure I'm in love with Christmas mouse. But if I don't use what I picked, then I'm cheating. And Eileen will never let me forget that I'm a big fat cheater. Looking for the baby wipes. I'm almost out. But have no fear. I bought some the other day. And I'm not going to cover it. Oops. I'm not going to cover the whole page. I'm trying to keep from falling over here. I'm going to smush the paint out he up here. Green and red is going to be so gross, you guys. Take my baby wipe. Pick up some paint. There'll be a lot that goes on top of this, so no worries. Actually, doing something like this, especially for me, because normally I'm a pretty precise um, person when it comes, like, you've seen my zines. If you were at Dee Dee's this morning, you saw them, um, or ATCs or something like that. I'm pretty precise about measurements and stuff like this. So doing something like this is very freeing. All right. There's Christmas Mouse. All right, somebody holler out a number, and I'll go to that card and get the next prompt. Hi, Jean. A murder scene. That's what it looks like. <laughs> Roadkill mice. Okay, 10. I'll start from where the charm is. See, there's a little charm right there. So there's 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so now I can pick one of these. Use a spray ink, use emboss resist. We're not doing that one. Use a piece of corrugate. I like corrugate. Add pattern paper. Draw designs in graduated sizes. Use, use song li lyrics or add any shape. I don't know. I'm thinking I might do the spray inks. Stop cheating. Eileen's saying I'm cheating. What am I cheating? Oh, my God. She's already telling me I'm a cheater. What did I cheat? How did I cheat, Eileen? 
I had to pick one paint. I picked one paint. I best not stream today. Not talking is just not going to happen, and I do not want to ruin your voice. That's understandable, Jean. Yeah, you've been fighting that for a few days. Shape. Those mice need cheese. Okay. The mice need cheese. So I'm just going to grab a... All right. Now, I might have to be a little careful here because um, I don't want to use anything that's going to bleed if I put something... Do all of them on the card? No way. <laughs> all right. Here's a shape. Here's some Swiss cheese for the mice. <laughs> That's the thing about going to a doctor's office or anything, Jean. You never know what you're going to pick up. And I'm doing this quick, but keep in mind, anything I do is probably going to get covered up, so you don't have to worry about it. But I'm going to use spray inks, too. And my Sharpie's about ready to crap out on me. Yeah, now we have cheese. <laughs> That's funny. Now, do I want to use spray inks, moldy cheese? Um, do I want to use the spray inks through a stencil? It didn't tell me to. What color? Okay, I have to close my eyes and reach in and get a spray. We got another green. Let's see. This is... Why does everything come out green? This is khaki. Oh, my God. Khaki. This is the Marabou sprays. Khaki. Hopefully I washed it the last time I used it, so it's going to spray. It is going to be moldy cheese, Eileen, because of the spray color I used. I don't know if I want to use a... Oh, it's not going to want to spray. That's one of the problems with these Marabou sprays, Eileen. If you don't wipe their little noses really, really good, they don't want to use, they don't want to spray the next time. Sorry, can't use khaki. It's not spraying. Okay, closing my eyes and picking out number two. Oh, no, not really. <laughs> You're not going to believe what I picked this time. Purple Dilutions. Uh, thanks, Didi. All right, we're just going to add some of this here and there. And you don't have to worry about this, you guys, because when you're all said and done, it comes out okay. Did that help everything? I know. This is getting horrible, isn't it? How are we going to fix this? I don't know. Those marabous really get clogged easy, Eileen. I love the sprays and I love the colors, but boy, you have to clean them. All right, pick another number really quick. She cheated so quickly. <laughs> Holly. Shh, shh, shh. Yeah, see, that's what I think too, Eileen. Just keep going. You never know. So does Eileen get to decide that I have to do every prompt on the page? I don't really want to. I think we should. There isn't a 22. Um, there's only, let me tell you how many cards there are. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14. There's 15 cards. 
Can you add water or a baby wipe as you go? Yeah, I would think that's okay. It's just the products that I have to pick blindly. And then you guys can pick the number of the card. And I can choose a prompt off that card. Yeah, I just didn't want to go get my box. I didn't want to give Tim any ideas. Okay, so nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, this page is use string and ink to doodle. Use a repetitive pattern. Now, see, it's the repetitive patterns and stuff like that that get really good. Um, use colored pencil, glue down confetti, add an envelope. I'm not going to do that. If we did that, it would be at the end, an origami. So this one, I think it's the repetitive pattern. But string and ink to doodle i mean do i get to call this because this already kind of qualifies right so you got um well lena really he has like a spray box that he charges you money for um amazon gives them to me for free for real okay eileen tell me what i have to do then so i'm not being a cheater <laughs> <laughs> We're going to see how this mess is going to turn out. All right, Eileen, you have to tell me what I'm going to do. See, like this one, my repetitive pattern could have been a checkerboard in the back. You have to tell me what I'm going to do, Eileen. I have to do string art. OMG. Okay. Let me go get some string. I'll just get some of that butcher's twine. I know right where it is. Okay, this could end up being really fun too. It's like, it's, it's more stiff. And we'll use, um, I'll, Close my eyes and pick out a color of ink out of my ink drawer. All right. Oh, I hope I don't get a grungy, creepy color. What do we get? Oh, good. This one's, I think, going to be okay. This is um, Thalo Cyanine Green Blue Shade Liquitex Ink. Okay. So I can use this. It's like... Um, I don't know. It's, it's like thin raffia kind of. It's not real pliable. But this could be fun. And then this butcher twine, I don't know. This is junk. It's not very soft either. So we can use some of each. Because why not? I have all this junk. I might as well use it, right? Now that's two more things I've got to put away, Eileen. We'll put the ink in a little dish here. And I'm going to shut the book again. Does that count as doodling? Hi, Jan. String mouse tail. <laughs> All right, I've scrunched up this, and I don't know how much ink it's going to absorb, if any at all. We're going to find out. I feel right now like I need to put gloves on. <laughs> I think I'm going to be sorry if I don't put gloves on. All right. Yeah, I'm going to be sorry that I didn't put gloves on. Just saying. That came out better than I expected. 
I like this up here. It looks like, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to be real sorry. I didn't put clouds on. Eileen knows this. This is why she does it. Buffering. It's not buffering on my extra screen that I'm watching. So if you have buffer, well, if you have buffer, you can't hear me. Um. Yeah, that ink ain't coming off for a while. I'm not going anywhere anyway, so who cares? All right. All right, this one I'm going to do more like we did um, before. Oops, string broke. Now I'm going to be cheating again. Got to reach in and get it. Oh, cheap ass stuff. It's breaking. So I can't pull as hard as I would. Every couple inches, it's breaking. Oh, that makes that green look a lot better. <laughs> All right, clean up my mess. Eileen is in heaven right now because I'm making the biggest mess ever. Got ink everywhere. All right, read chat. It's turning out okay. I'll pull the book down where you guys can actually see what's going on. I might pick, okay, I guess I got to ask for a ruling from the pain in the neck and charge around here. Eileen, can I get, can I choose a second color to do more string art? Or is that cheating too? <laughs> hi, Nanamo. I don't think I said hi when you came in. A masterpiece is emerging, you think? Okay, she said yes, that I can get a second. Okay, and I, but I will close my eyes. Um, I'll leave the glove on. All right, I'm going to reach in. This one is, hang in, can't see. Indigo. I like indigo. And I'm going to use the same piece of raffia and the same bowl that I used before. There. Won't need that much of that because a little bit of that's gonna go a long, long way. Only this time I'm gonna pull it out the side of the book, not the bottom of the book. I can't believe I do this stuff for her. I don't even think I would do this for my grandkids. All right, there we go. All right. We don't know what we're gonna get. We're just gonna close it and pull. That's going in the trash right now before it touches anything. This is what we got. It's looking a mess.
Elaine, Janet, and chairs. Have you tried this with a piece of chain? Awesome results. Um, I haven't. It seems like I did do it with chains that, uh, like a necklace chain. It seems like I did do it with a chain. I know I tried a bunch of different stuff that day. I'd have to look back and see, but it seems like I did. All right, glove can come off now. All right. There's a face on the left. Well, we pretty much obliterated the mice, so the cheese doesn't make sense now. But that's okay. We know why it's there. All right. That's as clean as I'm going to get for right now. Gunga Din. Hmm, a bit out of control. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go on. I'm not going to do another one on that page, I don't think. I might come back and do repetitive pattern, though. All right, so I've used ink and sprays and acrylic. So I've actually used three products already. All right, pick a number and I'll go to that card and pick something. Hey, seven. Well, you guys give me a number, I'll drink coffee. All right, 13. All right, that's going to be two from the end because I just counted. So that would be 13, this one. All right, use bubble wrap. Draw or stamp a face. All the places you've lived. Red things, draw rows, splatter ink on the page, or collage. I wonder at this point if I would want to collage some napkins or some tissue. Um draw or stamp a face. Oh, I could collage a face, right? Yeah, I could collage a face. Do we want to do that? Because um, I had just had this um, tissue paper out. I hope that's dry. hope I'm not trashing everything out. It's good enough. I could collage that whole big face on there. This page is big enough. Is that cheating, Eileen? I have to get a ruling. I don't know when I, else I would ever use this face, so let's use it. Unless I get a ruling that it's cheating. Okay, got a ruling. It's okay. But we're still going to work on top of her. Whatever happens on top of her just happens. Okay, and I'm going to actually tear out if I can tear it pretty easily. This tissue paper surprisingly does not tear very easily. So I guess I'll have to cut it. But I can use the other stuff around. Her. I've been saving stuff like that. I know because Eileen makes me save my trash. Um, but I've been using the, like the extras of this tissue paper in my little um, binders. Because I love them so much. All right. Where do we want her? Do we want her in this in the ditch where she's kind of doing both sides so the page on either side of her kind of matches? That tissue would look great on the pl I have another sheet though, Eileen, so I didn't use it all. I think I'm going to put her right in the center kind of um so that on either side of her we've got kind of the same stuff going on rather than putting her on one side because then we start getting kind of off balance. 
getting out the matte medium. Here's another thing I'm getting out, Eileen. Are you happy? I know you are. Where is my glue brush? I probably had it over here the other day. Yes, I did. I do like that woman's face, and I like that it's really big. It works on this page, so we're kind of cheating. We're not drawing a face. We're collaging a face. You know what it looks like? <laughs> it looks like she's got crap <laughs> exploding out of her ears. <laughs> This is a picture of Eileen the day her brains exploded and fell out of her ears. <laughs> now I'm going to get a great big old fat. Hey, doesn't that look like stuff coming out of her ears, though? <laughs> I'm killing me. <clears throat> The green stuff's coming out. That's funny. Oh, my God. Yep. That's Eileen. I'm going to distort her, obviously, when I put her in the crease, but that's okay. I don't mind that. And the background is going to show through her now, too, which is fine. Kind of got to be careful. I don't want to um, tear her, right? <clears throat> it does look like junk exploding out of her ears. That's so funny. Oops, see, you got to be really careful. You'll tear her so easy. <clears throat> <laughs> you never know what you're going to end up with, do you? Come on, glue down. I'll trim off the top. If you've got it, collage it. There you go, Jen. All right. I think we did that prompt great. I can't mess around down here anymore because I'm starting to tear the tissue. So keep that in mind if you buy that tissue. P.S. I got that tissue from Xander's shop. I think she's out of stock right now, but if I know Z, she'll get more in. So, um, And Didi, I'm sending you a piece of each of it. So you'll get one of these um, these girl faces. But she won't have stuff blowing out of her brains. <laughs> Hi, Quilty. The moldy cheese looks like a dress she has on. It does. I just saw that notary. Yeah, we, we already heard that, Quilt. No thanks for the brains. Yeah, you've got your own brains. All right, we're going to let that dry for a minute. Um, what was on that card again? Let's see. We did the collage. We'll go on to another card and you can pick the same number twice. So, um, yeah, while you guys come up with a number, I'm going to blow this dry real quick because we can also do splatters and it is looking pretty cool right now And the matte medium is creating a glare. Um, it's looking very dark to me, like a massacre. Something has happened on this page. The crazy thing about blind sixes, and, and I didn't believe it um, until 
um, Eileen had um, Jen doing it. But somehow you can come up with the craziest colors in mixed media. And somehow it always works out in the end. I cross her eyes. She's not looking cross-eyed at me. It must be you, Elaine. She's looking at me like, oh, my God, what have you done? She almost looks like a transfer on this. probably dry enough okay i think what i'm going to do and i don't think this is cheating elaine can or eileen can tell me um that's the we are out of scotch look it is that is the look lena oh my god we're out of scotch what are we gonna do now um i'm gonna go ahead and splatter some of this indigo um ink just to use it up. And to incorporate it back because that's indigo. You got it probably looks black to you guys. It does look indigo to me. I'm gonna try and keep it off of her face so she doesn't look all scarred. I know Jean is probably crapping right now, but it's okay, Jean. It all dissolves into the background at some point, you know? See how things start getting disguised after a while? You're ignoring this step? I knew you would, Jean. It's all good. It's all good. All right. Did anybody give me a number? Okay, Lena said two. One. Two. Two. All right, fill a page with four-letter words. Okay, now, <laughs> Eileen and I have done this before, <laughs> the fill a page with four-letter words. We've done that before, but we could do that again. Draw a page of cherries. I'm not sure that that would work on this page. Use stickers, add texture with a glue gun, not getting the glue gun out. Hidden message pull out, use the word gratitude. All right, here, we're going to dry this, and we're going to add some words. So when do you stop? You stop whenever you want. Because how many products have we used now? We've used the green. I could use stencils. You know, I mean, I don't know. At some point, you just stop and say, you know what? It's done. She looks good. Thanks, Nana. You would love to see Jean do this? All right. I'm thinking while I was blowing that dry, I was thinking um, we could write um, four letter words that you're grateful for. You know, like when I say four letter words, I don't mean all the dirty words because we know those or I do. Um 
You are heat setting it. Okay, I'm heat setting it. When I'm blowing it with the hair, <laughs> I'm really heat setting it. Okay. So around her now, we're going to go ahead and add some four-letter words. I'm going to write it in my own handwriting. Um, so be thinking of four-letter words. Four-letter words of gratitude. Fibs, Vaughn, that's excellent. Excellent. Let's try this one. Um, photo safe, acid-free, waterproof. That's what I wanted to see. And I'll use, so it ends up looking like nice. Vaughn so gets this, man. Yeah, we got fibs. Is that showing up or do I need to do it bigger? I probably need to do it bigger. Let me get out. One of my Sharpies is about ready to crap out. So I've got more, though. Don't worry. Too bad that thong is not a four leg word. <laughs> okay, there we go. We've got love. I'm not going to do it in that. We're just going to go with my own writing okay we have love we're going to put hope down here DD is a four letter word. I'm doing a smiley face with that one. All right. Are you guys so slow with the words? We're going to write trap down here on the cheese. Nobody will understand that, but we will. Um, give. That's a good word, give. Live. The one I love most is home. Eileen has bull. We're going to put up that up in, there in the corner. Um, what was the other one? Um, Artie. Ooh, it's not wanting to work on that damp. Okay. 
okay something else that i'm grateful for are kids my kids Shop. That should have been Eileen, Lena. Cats and shop. We'll turn the S into a dollar sign. Beer. Cats. Are, are you sure we're grateful for cats? I'm not sure I'm grateful for cats. I'm going to put it on here, but really, I'm not sure that I agree with that one. Oops. I'm doing dots this time. I even drew a little cat. Hall. Hall is good. Hall is very good. Should we include YouTube? Why? Let's see. Nope, we can't. Book. Book is a good one. Because I am definitely a fan of books. But it can only be one because we can't add the S. All right. Play. Play is good. Hugs is good, too. See how many words you can come up with? So easy. Hugs is good. I love hugs. Hugs are the best thing ever. Okay, we're going to move on here in just a second. Now, some of that probably is going to get um, tuna. <laughs> All right. Free. Free is a great one. I love free too. The IRS is not free. <laughs> In case you're wondering if I'm still pissed off, I, I am. I'll be pissed off for probably a whole month at the IRS. 
and I'm sure I'm not alone. All right, we're moving on. Next prompt, pick a number. Did that make it better or did that make it worse? Ugh, what a mess you're creating here. Food, food is good. Okay, Nana says three, which is just the next page. Okay. Make ink blots, which I already kind of did. Create texture. Use a stencil with paint. That's what we're going to do. Use watercolor. Watercolor would work now at this point. No, we're not adding beads. Stamp on tissue paper. Tissue paper would also be a good one. Or use graphite. So um, do we want to do a stencil with paint? Oh, what happened? I had to pay a wee bit this year. Yeah, we had to pay a wee bit too, Vaughn. It's nothing new. This year it was a little bit higher, though, but that's okay. We didn't have as much deductions. You know, when you don't have deductions, you're screwed. You are screwed. Let's don't get into that again. Um, use a stencil with paint. Which stencil do we want to use? Do I want to use a big one? Let's do one of the small ones that are right here at my fingertips. Do I get to choose another color, Eileen? Because what have I used? I've used spray inks. I've used regular inks. I've used acrylic. I don't think the tissue paper should count. <clears throat> I get to choose another color. Okay. So I'll just pull out these stencils. I like this stencil from... Australia. I like this one too. I might use that one. Um, but I got a lot of these stencils from the Wish app. But the number one is good too. Oh, they're all so good. I love stencils. Okay, I'm reaching into the acrylic paint mess. Brown. Do we want brown? Oh, stencils from what shop? The Wish app, Vaughn. Um, these stencils here, these white ones, these came from the Wish app. Circles are nice. I like the checks though. Uh, or you can, I've got border ones. There's a rose one. There's another flower one. There's dots. I love dots. Um, Words here, there, love this, stars, hearts in a heart shape. This is one of my very favorites. It's kind of like a zebra pattern. Love that one. And then this is just four small ones. So moose poop, yep. Um, or I actually like all those stencils. They're all good. And then I got this one while I was in Australia. This one's always fun. And then this one, I don't know what they call it. This is birch, like birch bark. This one is really good for random patterns. And actually with the brown, this one might be the best rather than having a repetitive pattern. Let's do that one. And it's going to push some things into the background. That's what we're doing. But this number one is awesome too. The number one would have been good if we hadn't put the words on there. Yeah, the birch bark one is awesome. I'll just use the same baby wipe. I'll try to. I don't know if it'll work. I kind of bent this stencil up. You can use a, a sponge or anything else. I've already used this once, so I'll just, it's laying here. I'll just use it again. It's getting kind of dry. Okay, now I'm not going to pay any attention to where the words are that we just wrote. Um, this looks like a baby wipe that has really been used. Okay, I'm not sure if that's going to work or not. Oh, yeah, it's working. That'll be fine. Okay, can you, can you guys see that where it's up in here? 
I might get the sponge out. I'm going to get a sponge out. Somewhere I have one. Up oh, here's I'll just use a makeup sponge. I'm looking for one that I've already used that I don't mind cutting. And I just get the sponges at like the Dollar Tree. And this one's had ink on it, or probably um, stamp pad ink, so I don't have to cut it yet. This really does look like moose poop. For real, for real. I'm not going to do anything on her face for sure. But I'll do stuff around her. Am I on camera where you guys can actually see what I'm doing? Some of them are just not wanting to tank that paint at all. I don't know why. See, it's just kind of disappearing into the background. How much were the stencils from the Wish Out? You know, I can't remember, um, but I know that they were pretty reasonable or I probably wouldn't have bought them. I've got a bunch of their stencils, the shape ones, um, or the, the journaling ones. I really like their journaling ones. It has a bunch of different shapes. I can show you here in a minute if you want. Um, they're all pretty reasonable. And a lot of them, you know, they'll like tell you, oh, we'll give them to you free. All you got to do is pay for shipping. Um, so you might end up paying, you know, three bucks or something. But yeah, a lot of that stuff, I just don't remember. I'm sorry. Not worrying about what I'm covering up at all. Because this will all just disappear into the background at some point. Yeah, that looks cool. Cool. I'll show you some of the journaling ones. They're really nice. And I know they're really, really inexpensive. Just going to try and mix her in a little bit now. So she doesn't look like she just stuck there on the page, right? I don't know why you couldn't, um, Joycey. I think you could pretty easily, actually. <clears throat> Just using up the paint now. Down here where you can kind of see the tissue paper. I'll go ahead and just try and push that into the background a little bit. Right there. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Okay. 
There's something else I got to wash, Eileen. I bet you're happy about that. All right, put the brown paint away. What next? Oops, I just wiped my face with brown paint. Oh, my gosh. All right, while I'm thinking about it um, and said I would do it, I'm going to pull out, and while that dries, I'll go ahead and pull out um, the other Wish App stencils because they're cool. They're way cool. And they come in sets where you get like several. God, this looks a mess. I'm just going to set this right behind me real quick while I show you these. Okay. Starting here are all Wish App stencils. I always like, if it's got alphabets on it, I'm going to buy it. But these are for use in like your journals. Which way? That way. Okay. Sorry about the glare. I can't turn off the overhead light. Then I really will be in the dark. So you get little images of all the holidays on this one. And all these came in one set. And I think if you type in journal stencils or bullet journal or something like that, you get them. You get talk bubbles, you get flags, arrows, another alphabet, which I use this alphabet a lot. It's a great size. And they're good quality. What do non-Hispanics wear to a Cinco de Mayo celebration? Anything they want. I mean, I, I don't know, without getting into trouble, you know, like, I, yeah, I would say wear anything you want. Look, there's Eileen Stahl. They're just fun little images, but mostly I bought them for the shapes and um, the um, alphabets. But the, the arrows are really useful with those numbers. You can make any number. Um, yeah, so, so that was one set. You got 24 individual stencils in that set. And then this is a separate one, which I love this one. I use these boxes. In fact, these are the boxes that I use to do that watercolor thing, which is great. It takes forever to get anything. You forget all about it. And then the order can I know it. That's the cool thing, Eileen. But then these all came as a set as well. And there's some repetition. You don't get all the holiday stuff, I don't think. But you get bigger shapes, which I love. So. But yeah. A bunch of journal images. The numbers again. Only bigger, you know. So you get different sizes of stuff. There's a toucan and a windmill. Where you can end up with one of those. But these banners and stuff are all really fun. Where'd I um where'd I get the little stencil holder? Um I I made it really, um, Vaughn. It was a notebook that I bought at um oh I think Michael's. Um the front of it. I actually bought the binder. Too many ideas, not enough time. Because I was going to put my um, Society of Idea Collectors stuff in here. And um, I never got around to it because I have it all in a bigger binder. And I would have had to alter it. And it was just like, oh, my God. But when I saw this, too many ideas, not enough time, I was just like, oh, that's the perfect notebook for that. And then I never did it. So I just... Um, I went ahead on these front ones where I have some of this smaller stuff. Um, these are like, I don't know, stuff that your products come in. And then I just did washi tape on the edges and punched it. And then same with this. I just used um, 
sheet protectors and cut them down and punched holes in them. So, yeah, no, it, I just made it up. Oh, my gosh, Mark's here. You got some competition now, Eileen. Mark's going to be bossing you around. Yeah, sometimes, yeah, you have to watch the size because the size sometimes will get you, you know. And like the color books and stuff, and Didi and I were talking about this the other day. Like the color books and stuff that you buy on the Wish or the AliExpress, those have been stolen from the um, original artists, and they've been reduced. And when you get the books, they're about this size. They're real small. But the actual images are just stolen, kind of like they did with um, Dee Dee's art that they turned into a, a, what do you call it, diamond painting? Yeah, they're, so I don't know. That's a problem for me, where they just go around stealing stuff. Now, these stencils, I don't know. You know, who knows? They're probably stolen, too. What the hell do I know? Yeah, they're probably stolen. So, yeah. Those are my small stencils. And then I have a whole box of big ones that are in the other room. All right, so here we are. What next, Eileen? Let me see if I can get some of this mess. Ugh, I have brown paint everywhere. I've already got blue ink everywhere. Okay. We're just doing um, prompt cards today, Mark. See, guys, keep your packaging. Yeah, I, I reuse the packaging. All right, what number are we doing next? Let's see. This one was we, to make ink blots. We had done that before. Create texture. Use a stencil with paint. That was the one we did. So, and so which one? Eileen's picking number one. So we'll see what's on the first card. It's probably something I don't want to do. Or she remembered that it's especially messy. Okay, use stencil. I guess I get to do that again. Use spray inks. We already did that. Finger paint. Add a tag. Paste random stuff. Add ephemera. Use a rubber stamp. I'm kind of ambivalent about all that. What do you guys want? I guess one thing I could do is, why couldn't I um, do two of it? I could use a stencil, another stencil, and um, add texture. Because I could use that texture paste from, what's it call it? But with my skinny stencils, I still have to put that package somewhere. 16 is just one too much. It's one through 15. I've got 15 cards. But I have to pick something off here. Finger paint, use spray inks, add a tag. I could use spray inks through a stencil too. Or use a rubber stamp. I'm not sure where we're going with this, honestly. I'm about ready to paint over the whole thing and just leave her face out. Paint over the whole thing with white and then rub out a stencil. That actually might look really cool. What do you think, Eileen? Where I paint out the whole background, except I'd miss the part about junk blowing out of her ears, because that's really funny. That's really funny. Sew down the middle of a page protector. Square checker stencil with spray inks. A circle stencil. Okay, circle stencil. I like all of the circle stencils on these. This random one is really cool. Okay, and I can use white paint. So I think I'm going to use white paint now. Don't paint it out completely. Use something translucent. I would water down the paint, Gail. Yeah, and see for the stencils, I mean, you could put them in the CD cases, but then I forget about them. I like that book where I can just flip through them. 
All right, we're going to use this random, and I'm going to use white this time, I think. I think I'm going to add some white back in here to knock some of this junk back. Because I can use as much white and black as I want, but I have a lot of black with the words um, that I've used. I'm going to pull this back over a little bit. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm going to add some white back in now. And it actually looks lighter on screen, or well, my screen, but then when I look at my other computer, it doesn't. I can add gold. I think, isn't the rule that I can use gold, black, and white as much as I want, Eileen? Read and read and read it. Don't pay, okay, I read that already. All right, I guess I'll go with the white since I'm not getting an answer. Hi, Norma. Just back from a dentist appointment where well, you deserve a drink or something. Grab something to drink. All right, here's another sponge do. Oh, another thing I bought, I forgot, I put it up. The, another thing that I bought at Hobby Lobby the other day was this, um, I hadn't seen it there before. This P.H. Martin pen white, it says that you can put it in technical pens. I may try that, that it's for airbrush or technical pens, and I had never seen it there before. So I went ahead and bought that, but I haven't tried it yet. Um, but I just noticed, manufactured by Sales International Inc., Golden, Colorado. I used to be in Golden, Colorado at least twice a week, calling on cores. Eating a pizza for lunch. Yum, yum. I could eat pizza every day. Every day, every day. All right, we're going to use this white. We don't know what it's going to look like, and we don't really care. The sad thing is, normally I would... Yeah, see, I don't... The other side is that page that I really, really love. So this is going to end up staying in the book. I may end up having to paint the whole thing on it. Calling on or having one. Um, of course, it was my client. I was out there Tuesday and Thursday at least of every week, sometimes more often than that. So, And it was true that you could go into the break room and have as much beer as you wanted. Problem is, when I started calling on Coors, I didn't even like beer. So um, my contact's boss used to always, if he'd see me, coming in, he'd always say, come on, let's go down and get a beer. Well, I didn't have the heart to tell the guy, I don't like beer. <laughs> you can't exactly tell your largest client <laughs> that you don't like their product. So I would go down and have a beer with him. <laughs> I did acquire a taste for beer. That was hubby's favorite beer. Yeah. Well, now it is because they bought the um, the brewery out there. Well, I, see, I don't even know what they do anymore because they've been bought out by Molson. So, yeah, I spent a lot of time at Coors. I made a lot of money, of course. But I worked my ass off for Coors, too. I will say that without any hesitation at all. They were a good, good company, excellent company to work for. And I had a great contact out there. Karen and I became very good friends. I mean, we were friends outside of work as well. Um, we just enjoyed each other's company a lot. And the nice thing about having her as a friend and a client, I could entertain her and put it on my expense account. <laughs> so we got to go skiing together. We got to do a lot of things, eat out all the time. And I was on expense account. So, yeah. 
Okay, I'm liking the white dots a lot better. Um, I don't know if we're going to have to think up a quote for what her princessness on the page is thinking or saying. Yep, like the white dots. A lot. Yep, some of my best days were out at the brewery. But then, <laughs> I don't mind saying this, it's been so long and probably half the people are dead. At the same time that the brewery, Adolf Coors Company, the parent company was my best client. My worst client was Coors Ceramics Company. Managers over there were awesome. I loved the management over there. And I know the guy I... I who signed the contract and that I reported to over there is dead now. Um, but he had a purchasing and I normally didn't um, have to deal with the purchasing people, but she was just a wench. She was a pain in the butt. I, I'd love to say something nice about her. And I, ca I can't tell you what her, my nickname for her was because it's really disgusting. Um, right. And it wasn't even my nickname. Um, a guy that I worked with came up with it because he hated her as much as I did. Um, but yeah, it's weird that the same company was my absolute best client and my worst client. What business was I in? I managed the Denver branch, um, of a national forms and management company. And we did, um, sold forms and records programs to Fortune 500 companies. And I was actually, I managed the branch. And because Coors was such a large client, they were my client. That was one we couldn't screw up, you know. Not that we would screw up any of the accounts, but Coors was definitely, we needed somebody on their toes was busy 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 takes a lot of paper to sell a million dollars a year you know yeah I like the white dots too what happened to Dee? oh thank you Dee. all right we have to decide where we're going next with this yeah the white dots kind of knocked the whole thing back I like that Um, all right, let's see what we got going on here. Now I don't feel like painting over the whole damn thing. This purple right in the middle of her face is a little weird, but what the hell. Polka dots. Yep, nothing wrong with a polka dot, right? All right, I can't remember if somebody else has set a nose, another number, or if we're getting to the end here. <laughs> But it's weird that we started out with that green thing right here, the mouse, and the mouse is like so gone now. And we've kind of turned her into the um, focal point. And I didn't glue her down real good in the center, so um, probably that will end up tearing over time, but I don't care. Okay, Holly says seven. Hang on. There's seven. Machine stitching, that ain't going to happen. Um, draw something. Use a Zentangle pattern. Cut text paper into hearts. Journal on this page. Words that start with your initial. Eee, that's really hard. Um... I'm not sure what to do with any of that. Probably, if you guys have any ideas, let me know. Journal on this page. Words that start with your initial. I don't want to do that one because we've already done the other words. Yeah, no more words. I agree. What, no sewing? Yeah, no sewing. Hearts or Zentangle. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking too. We can.
can add some text to it, some text paper. I've got text paper in here. old, old text paper. All right, do I just cut hearts freehand? Or should I draw them first? I don't trust myself. I'm going to do kind of small ones. not sure I should try a piece of this paper and see if I fold it if it would crack I'm kind of afraid it would otherwise yeah I'm afraid it's not going to stick together otherwise I just cut hearts like this I, th I really thought the paper would um, would crack and tear if I did that. So now that I know it's not going to, I got hearts, man. $4,500,000. I'm putting that bad boy right in the center of that heart. And it'll remind me how much I hate the IRS. So this one has to go up like that. Yeah that right there probably need to highlight that and dear government if you're listening please use my money wisely you buttheads Okay, Nana, bye. Go have a fun day. All right, I'm not sure when to stop with the heart thing. It has to be an uneven number. I know that. So let's see how many we've got. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, one more, and we'll call seven. Should we do seven or nine? You could get a very small spray bottle. Hey, APG Jamie, put distilled water in it. If you drop some mineral oil, you can spritz dried up paper, and that will help stop the cracking. Oh, APG Jamie, I swear, anytime I hang out with you, I come out of the deal smarter. You should send me an invoice. But please don't. The IRS already did. Okay, so we got two, four, six, eight. Here, one more. Nine is the magic number. And the only reason I picked so many is because this is a big layout. I mean, this bad boy is huge. I'm a little crabby today, Jamie. Because I had a date with the tax man. All right, I'm going to ink the edges of these. I don't know if we want to colorize them. You guys tell me. 
A4 or A5, which is bigger? Um, one of the UK people will have to tell you that. I should know that, Eileen, but I don't. Or Elaine. Um, yeah, I'm going to ink the edges of these. Okay, Joan just told you. Jane's from, Joan's from the UK, so she would be an expert. Let me see if this is brown. Yep, it is brown. All right. Get out your brown ink pad. Let's see. Well, at least we'll add some brown back in since brown was one of our colors earlier. All right, think about how we're going to finalize this page, too. I don't know if I want to um, add a quote, just leave it, whatever you guys want. I don't really care. This could be a book of nothing but unfinished pages. <laughs> mm -hmm. Kind of like my napkin journal. I don't like the shape of that part. I'm going to alter it a little bit. Hey, Kelly. Kelly's daughter-in-law saw her on Saturday, ate lunch with her and Eddie. How's everything, Kelly? What are you and Eddie up to today? She's the farmer's wife. Yeah, she is. She has animals. They had a really, really cute little calf of white. She can tell you. I think she said heifer, which I think means girl and cow. <laughs> that's about how much cow I speak. Free equals Kelly. Yes. Yes, that's Kelly. We had fun on Saturday. Yeah, it's, it's nice enough here today that I could be outside working in the yard too, Jamie. Um, Robert is outside. I don't know what he's doing. If he's probably over burning, some trees fell down. We had that high, high winds here this weekend and some trees fell down. So he was out helping neighbors yesterday and I'm sure he's over burning it today. Because it's always a challenge to burn live trees, right? <laughs> I don't even know what to say about him. We're working out of a prompt, out of my prompt list today, Kelly. So that's why this thing is totally crazy because we had absolutely no control. Eileen lost control. Hi, Safia. Safia. And I'm a mess, and this house is a mess now. Doing this stuff is not clean, man. Where's Eileen? We had two towns hit by tornadoes Saturday. Oh, no. Where my son and his, they are okay, but they were, oh, Jamie, I'm so sorry to hear that. Eddie and Kelly, she went through a tornado, what, about five years ago? Kelly, I, I can't even remember what year it was. Um, and lost everything. 
that's heartbreaking. That is the most heartbreaking thing. Um, you know, and especially when lives are lost, you know, when you lose property, it's hard enough, but when you lose loved ones, oh, that's just horrible. You got to take that stuff really, really serious. Like who knows what would have happened with Eddie and Kelly if they hadn't had the storm shelter, you know, we got one put in. Yeah, I hate tornado season two. I absolutely despise it. Do I need to step in? And apparently you do um, because she has abandoned me, Mark. I'm glad that we have the tornado shelter now, though. I mean, it does make life a little less harried, I guess. I guess I'm just going to plop these things down wherever I want. <laughs> I love you, Eileen. I swear to God, I love this snot out of you. All right, we've got, um, I'm going to probably put one down on so it's half on one page, half on another, and then we can have four on either side. And one or two has to be going off the page. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? You can't have the two big ones on the same page either. Don't have a Freddy hole here, I know. So you just need to go in your bathroom, get in the, um, get in the tub. It's the best you can do. All right, I'm gonna glue these down. Don't care where I glue them down. They're just one more element in this pile of crap that we're creating. Where did my rag go? There it is. Yeah, if you don't have a tornado shelter, the best thing to do, do is go into the smallest room on the interior of your house or even a hallway. When we were down at Eddie and Kelly's, um, the only part of the house that was really left intact was the hallway, um, you know, real thin hallway um, because there's a lot of, say, infrastructure there. Um, so, yeah, go into the bathroom or a hallway or someplace where there's a lot of walls close together is the best thing. They're scary, scary, scary stuff, man. There's my $4,500,000 IRS bill. We're gonna put this one next to shop. And this little, little tiny one can go down next to home. On a page this big, it could actually take multiple more than this even. Put this one up between kids and love. One of the prompts early on, if you came in late, was four-letter words. So we combined um, four-letter words and gratitude. So it was all stuff. Four-letter words that we were grateful. And that one, I covered up the stuff that's blowing out of our ears. <laughs> And this one will go down with fibs and cats. Because we like fibs and some people love cats. Is this just looking weirder all the time? 
You like it? It's kind of crazy, isn't it? Now she looks dreamy-eyed. Well, I, Elaine thinks she's cross-eyed. You gladly put up with the cold. Yeah, the tornadoes are just, they're brutal. You have to be on your toes. Okay. Trying to decide, have we put enough crap on this yet? You have cold and tornadoes? Yeah, so do we. Not now. I think she dried. Okay. Yeah, I think more than enough, too. About ready to paint over the whole thing. I'm going to heat set it. It's a mess. It's a mess. It's fun playing with my stuff, though. All right, here we go. You knew CB would say that because she, about three steps ago, she was already going, don't get carried away. Now, the one thing that I would probably prefer to do with this, I'm not going to take this out of the book because I actually like the pages on either side of it. But if you cut this out of the book and cut it up into um, squares, say this size, that's kind of the thing you end up with is art that ends up looking like that. I really wouldn't mind adding some gold to it, though. Hi, Carrie Ann. Okay. She looks like she has bad cramps. I think I agree with Lena. She's sitting there thinking, holy crap, we're almost out of scotch. <laughs> oh, we're expected to have a big tornado season, Kelly? Oh, crap. Yeah, she just received Eileen's MasterCard bill. Holy crap, what has she done? My doll to the rescue. <laughs> so I'm not sure what we can do from here. We could go on to another page. And just start slapping stuff down since we already have a mess. We might as well make a bigger mess. I do like I the girl in the middle kind of saved this whole page, really. Yeah, I could have lived without the bad tornado season too. Yeah, the tax bill. See, I should write a, a thought bubble coming out here. Saying all that stuff I had, I said when I opened up my stream talking about paying my taxes. She just got home, IRS bill. Yeah. Yep. I had to write the checks this morning. Yep. Just found out Rock Hudson wasn't interested. She looks like that era for sure. Well, she was that era, actually. Because I've only got about 45 minutes left now. The next one I'll do um, on a page that I can actually cut out. I actually do like this one. 
This one would be a good page to do Zentangle on, honestly. Um, get out the Elmers. Get out the Elmers for what? Yeah, any of these I could go ahead and cut out to make like ATC backgrounds or something. This one would make a good ATC background. They look like monsters with their mouths open. Which one? This one? To glue the ladies. <laughs> no, I don't care if she's up like that because um, she'll either tear on her own or whatever. I'm not going to worry about that. But I do like this page. This is a cool page. That was fun to do, actually, that string art. This one actually needs to just be turned into flowers. Oh, the girl just got her IRS bill. Yeah, that's me. We actually don't have to pay. We had extra to come out in the paycheck. Yeah. Pitcher plants. Yeah. This is the one I would work on next to cover up the orange because I'm pretty sure these were Eileen's colors. But this string art really is fun. This one's really different going sideways. Some of them are really fun. This one's butt ugly. This one needs to be covered up. I'm going to color, cover it up. How about that? Well, how did you do that? Marianne, this is string art. Um, I took um, different kinds of string. Um, I had cotton string and yarn and a whole bunch of different kinds of string and dipped it in ink, shut the book, you know, slammed the book on it, and then pulled it. But you, when you do it, you put loops in the string and then you pull the string out. Just going to see. I'm surprised. The um, it looks like that blue is actually moving, which that was acrylic ink we were using, I thought. So why would that how would that blue move? Because when acrylic is dry, it's dry. That's it. Wonder if we use something else. Because that blue is definitely moving. And I'm not, I um, had water in the brush. That's why the, um, the paint isn't as thick. But it wouldn't cover this acrylic ink completely anyway. But this isn't thinned down like that was. That blue is definitely moving. That is weird as all get out. I wouldn't have thought that acrylic ink would move like that. This is just experiment. I just wanted to see if I knocked it back. Yeah, try it, Marianne. It's really fun. It really is. And then Dee Dee did it one day, and then she turned hers into, like, chickens or flowers or whatever. I've just never gone back and done that. Because I was going to use this book to um, collage in. So... Okay, I like this page better now that it's covered in a little bit of white. You know, the other thing I could do that I've been wanting to do is to collage some, some of my tissue papers that I've got. Wasn't it ink? Yeah, see, Kathy, it's... I think we were using that day. I'm almost sure we were using um, this FW ink. 
which is acrylic. So when it dries, it should be absolutely permanent. That's what's really weird is why that blue would move because I'm almost sure we were using that um, FW ink because I had so much of it. I didn't mind wasting it, you know, but it it's definitely moving, definitely moving. So I'm going to let that dry for a minute. I'm going to go get some tissue paper and I'm going to stamp on it. and collage it down as I want to. Okay, I'm just going to grab, let's see, where's that background stamp? Do I have one here that's easy to get to? No, I'll just use the world map one. It's big and easy to stamp. already used tissue paper. We're just going to collage it to use up the rest of my time because I've been wanting to do this for a while. I don't know if they make the stamp pads like the this anymore that the lid comes off. Do you guys know what they do? I love that feature of those stamp pads. I've had this one for about a hundred years and I like mappage so we're going to use it. I might have to use black. I didn't really want to but I might have to. There's something with more of an image. I don't know. Let me try. Try this baby coffee one. I really like these little baby archival ink pads. Nope, that one didn't do any better. All right. Hmm. <laughs> Black it is. Jeez, what is with this? I'm like not getting any image at all. And it's not wanting to sink into that tissue paper. What the heck? Huh? 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 You need re-inkers or new stamp pads. No, th this one actually, this is a pretty juicy one. I re-inked it here not very long ago. And this brown one, let me see. Let's do a little ink pad test here. Let me get out of here. This is a, a stamp of Eileen right here. 
pull you guys down so you're not looking from the middle of the ceiling. See it? It's got plenty of juice. That's Eileen. Come on, focus, you freak. There you go. I'm thinking it does. It has a coating on it. Because, yeah, this brown stamp pad is pretty juicy. So it must be the... It is kind of waxy. I still want to use it. Ugh. Is that brown paper? The tissue paper is probably coated. Yeah, that's what I think, too. It's coated. And that's why it's not taking the ink. So now the ink that I put on there is going to wipe off on everything that it touches. That's bad news. Let's see. Bad news. Yep, comes right off. I'd rather it be on the red then. Well, that's, I don't want to use that then because that's going to be hard to work on top of too. Hmm. Use that as packaging, I guess. They look like it to me, Jean. They look, both sides look like they're coated. I didn't even think about that. I'm on the other side now. If you have stays on, that would... St yeah, I don't like stays on. Um, I do have black stays on is all I have. Um, and I'm just not a fan of stays on. It stinks so bad, it'll make my head hurt. Certain odors really make my head hurt, so... You know what? Maybe it's going to work better on that side. Can you guys see the image? Of course, it's hard to see with that junk underneath there. But Okay. So that is stamping a little better. All right. Let's use the back side then. Because I don't need a huge amount of this, really. All right. I'll just do it real quick. Because I don't have that much time left. And then I got to take a shower and fetch us up some dinner. And I don't care necessarily if you can see or read the image. I mostly just wanted... Um, Just something, some texture in the background. So, and I didn't want it real heavy. Just something back there. It is stamping better on this side though. So who knows if it's gonna dry though or when I put matte medium on it, if it's gonna wipe all off. That will annoy me. But lots of things annoy me. The IRS annoys me. Now I'm just going to tear this and um, collage it down on top of that page I just painted. And then I don't know what I'll do on top of it. I really don't. But I didn't like that string art. So I figured, well, we'll change it up, man. Do you guys like stays on? Okay. Jamie says the same thing I'm saying, that the stays on stink is just, ugh. Don't care for it at all. I was actually excited when I got the stays on because from what I had seen and heard, and it's been years since I bought it, um, is that it would allow you to stamp on almost any surface, right? That it would be like permanent. 
Is that a box for me? You behave, I'll give you a present. That's all your stuff, I think. Open it and see if it isn't all stuff for you. Because I should have ordered myself something, but I didn't. Well, I'm greasy. Is it heavy? <laughs> okay, it's all your stuff. Okay. Robert Vaughn got presents. It's just your hearing aid supplies. Oh, okay. Okay, got that going on. I should have ordered myself something, but I was being really, really good. And I thought, no, Melody just sent you the paints. You don't have to be like a paint pig. But I should have been a paint pig. I really should have been. Because it's very distressing to get a box from Amazon and there's nothing in it for me. That's just stupid. Hi, Kia. And CB loves the smell of black stays on. Isn't that funny? Yeah, I can't stand it. It just, ugh. Yeah, it, I think it makes my head. But I was really excited about stays on when I first heard about it. Because I thought, oh, man, you can stamp on anything. Okay, I'm going to hate set this real quick. Because it feels to me like it could just, as soon as I hit it with matte medium, it's going to move. So let me hit this real quick. You'll see how permanent it really is. All right. That should do it. Oops. Stamp on the floor. I mean, fell. Wah. And I also have a, a companion stamp to Eileen going where? This is me going. Na, 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 na. <laughs> Who would have stamps like that at my age? Huh? Huh? Who? <laughs> All right. Get booked back. All right. This might show a little bit through, but we don't care. Hopefully, you would. <laughs> I know, right? Uh. All right. Now, I may not have enough, but I'm not going to worry about it because I'll just start gluing and then finish it later. The other day, gluing down that tissue when I did it, that was fun. I enjoyed that, actually. And I hadn't done it in, like, forever. But I'm going to squish this up a little bit. I'm going to make it real textured when I put it down. That's why I'm not sure if I'll have enough. I'm not going to worry about it, though. I'll add some um, blank in here, too. So I have some of each. Maybe I'll have enough. There you go. I'm adding some that's not stamped on to it, too, so that'll be fine. I'm going to have to get out some more matte medium someday. We'll use what we've got for now.
hopefully all the white paint's off there. Hang on. Got to move this so I don't glue everything together. I don't know where the other one went. Right here. Oopsie dokie. We're just experimenting now. Okay, the um, stamp pad ink is not moving, so that's a good thing. I'm happy about that. And if this is glued out around all over, this is going to look cool. I'm going to be happy with this. That's kind of what I was hoping for. So, woohoo! Now I'll put a plain piece next to it. Oops, messy girl. You guys get the idea now? Lots and lots of texture. And you're going to be able to see that original design through it. Yeah, I like the transparency on this when you can see through it. Um, yeah, I'm, and I have been thinking about this for a while that I was thinking I'd like to do that with something transparent like tissue paper. Um, I'd also like to do one with just the colors of tissue paper, much like my watercolor. Um, the whole transparency thing has really been getting under my skin, you know, like this, only just use tissue paper where you can see layers and layers and layers of stuff underneath it. 
kind of been obsessing me lately. But I like the ones with the stamping on it better. I really do. Um, trying to be kind of cool here in the center of the book, not make it too um, wadded up, you know. Maybe I got too much there. I'll pull it out a little bit. Yeah, the ink is staying on them. After I heat set it, I think it was fine, Eileen. So what's weird to me is that acrylic ink moving. Um because that just should not have happened. If if it was the acrylic ink like I thought we had used, and I'm almost sure it was. And after this gets wet, it's it's kind of easy to tear to so on this technique, it doesn't matter at all. This is going to look way cool when it's dry. Oh, Eileen, you got your cup. Oh, isn't it so cute? I love my cup. I so love my cup. It's got all my really, really special brushes in it. I love it so much. And it sits right in front of my face where I can see it every day. Sorry if I was getting off screen and you guys couldn't see that. which side is up now.
I'm really liking the way this is looking right now. Um, I know she's home, um, Jamie, and she put some new stuff in her shop yesterday. I, I haven't really seen her say how she's doing. Um, she was in a lot of pain. I don't know if she still is. I was hoping that the doctor, after she got her second knee, would start managing that pain a little bit better. Because it's hard to get up and want to move and make your knees stronger if you're hurting. So I was really hoping that they'd deal with that whole aspect of it. But I'm sure the doctor's being careful knowing that he was going to have to, you know, she was going to have to be on him for a while. So I don't know. And I think doctors are just scared now to prescribe certain pain meds. So, but yeah, I haven't really heard how she's doing the last couple days. But no one's Z, she's such a trooper. She will just go on no matter what. The girl is mind boggling. I'm almost out of Now I'm making a mess. Big old hairy mess. Come on. I just want to cover that white. So if anybody has heard about Z, yeah, tell us because I'd like to hear. I'm sure she's doing some serious rehabbing right now. But she's a trooper, that girl. Looks like autumn leaves. It just, it looks so textury um, in person. And when it's dry, um, yeah, it's going to look way cool. Way, way, way cool. And I'll wait and fill that after I end the stream. I probably will go ahead and finish the, this this afternoon, though, since I've got all the pieces in the mess out. I probably will go ahead and finish. Just do it off stream so you guys can go do something worthwhile. <laughs> How about that? like this a lot now and you can still see the design through it which I kind of like a lot all right got some more to cover up up here I'm going to blow it or heat set it real quick, Eileen. I used quite a bit of that. Um, tissue paper. I might have to use some more. Let me heat set it real quick and so you can see it when it's kind of dry.
now what I'm going to do, and it's not really entirely dry yet, but my idea was I would take the, I want to use a permanent one, so maybe I'll use the plum rather than this brown. The sepia should be dark too. Yeah, it should be. Yeah. Let's see. To highlight the wrinkly parts. And I'm bare I'm not pushing at all. I'm just barely rubbing it on top of it. And it's gonna look way cool. And when this dries, it's permanent too. So when I work on top of it, it won't, nothing should move. Cool looking, huh? This page I probably am going to take out of the book. I mean, I'll still do stuff on top of it, but I probably am going to take this one out of the book and cut it up into ATC or smaller size, you know, tags or something to work on top of rather than having a huge, great big spread in the book. This one I probably will take out and cut up into ATC size um, pieces. So, um, yeah. Yeah so tempting to make fake rolls of ancient paper like these pieces and then dump it in that huge pit downtown where they're digging for Viking pottery. I must get live. <laughs> no, Lena, I would love to spend a week with you so we could just go out and do crazy stuff like that and then go home and laugh our heads off. You know, like this is the funniest thing that ever happened in the history of mankind. I think that would be so much fun. And I think you and I together would be like really good at it because you could think up the great ideas and I don't have the good sense not to do it. All right. Now I'm thinking too. I'll do it in the corner first. See if I would. I'm not sure I would want maybe some black here and there, but not much. Yeah, I like a little bit of black, but not a whole lot. And CB's already saying, okay, you're getting carried away there. That's enough. Because the black, I'll ink the edges of the little cards after I make them with black. We would land in jail. But the cool thing about that, Eileen, is we would have you to come get us. Right? Let's move it along. <laughs> Mark, you need the whip app, man. You and Dee Dee. But this is looking pretty cool, considering that the page started out looking like that. And now we're at this point. So it's going to look really cool when I'm done. And I probably will make some ATCs or something to give away. Um for people who have put money in my tip jar and stuff like that. I need some backgrounds for that. Um, that's why I was thinking I'd just do something like this and that I would tear this out of the book. I still, I'd have to do the backside, but the backside I probably would um, just paint total black. Let's all collect money for their bail. Yeah. So we can go out on more adventures. <laughs> So I will show this next time. I'm not sure what I'm going to um, do on top of it, but I will finish this page like this page. So I'll have a bunch of ATCs to give out. So Tara, you're an asshole. Thanks for coming. <laughs> okay. Okay. I got to get out of here. Um, oh, what happened with... 
Sophia. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm going to have to go turn on the news and see what's going on. So, um, yeah, these are going to be cool. I'm excited about this. So thanks for coming, you guys, and hanging out. And we'll look at the page one more time. I'm not sure what we really did, but it's okay. We had fun. That's crazy. That's what you get with a blind six with prompt cards. So it's craziness. I don't know what I'll end up doing with it. It might just stay in the book just like that for the rest of my life. So go have some fun, you guys, and I'll see you sometime later in the week. <laughs> Crap, I put the gin in the baby bottle again. <laughs> oh, hi, Teresa. Teresa, I showed your card at the beginning. So... Anyway, you guys go have some fun. That's what I'm going to do. Appreciate you guys more than you'll ever know. Bye now.